talk shows, superheroes, comedy specials, and more. This month brings about some serious changes. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 releases coming to and leaving Netflix in April 2018. I must admit, I didn't think much of Andy the first time I laid eyes on him. He had a quiet way about him. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're looking at five of the best properties that Netflix will sadly be dropping come April 2018, as well as five of the best incoming titles for you to get excited about. Sicily is an island with a sweet tooth. Corrado has pastry in his jeans. Number five, Caddyshack, leaving April 1st, 2018. Welcome to the Bushwood Country Club. Well over 35 years after its release, this sports comedy still gets laughs, as it's considered to be a crude classic. With the legendary Harold Ramis at the helm, and starring Chevy Chase, Rodney Dangerfield, Bill Murray, and a motley crew of recognizable faces from the 80s, it's the sort of comedy film they just don't make anymore. And yet, for many younger generations, it remains on the bucket list of films you've been meaning to see but never got around to. Well, here's an excuse to finally scratch it off that list. With the title leaving Netflix imminently, why not watch it now while it's still just one click away? It is! You! Out! Or the man's a menace! Caddyshack. Number 5. My Next Guest Needs No Introduction with David Letterman Incoming April 6th, 2018. And I can't tell you how great it is to be out of the damn house. Wow. There are some talk show hosts that just can't seem to retire. Far from being past his prime, however, with this new Netflix series, David Letterman proves that he can still hold our attention. The series started strong and reaffirmed its title in its inaugural episode by having Letterman chat with Barack Obama. Since then, it's delivered one great interview after another always with a big, influential figure. On April 6th, we'll have the distinct pleasure of seeing Letterman chat with one of the most powerful people in the entertainment industry, Jay-Z. Hang on. Number 4, Apollo 13, leaving April 1st, 2018. Apollo 13 flight controllers, give me a go, no go for launch. Tom Hanks has been called Hollywood's historian. Whether acting or producing, he's played a role in bringing many important moments from American history to life on the big screen. Even amidst his impressive filmography, Apollo 13 stands out. The film explores the ill-fated titular lunar mission and the unbelievable story of how these astronauts got themselves home against astronomical odds. We never lost an American in space. We're sure as hell not going to lose one on my watch. With a stellar cast that includes Hanks, Bill Paxton, and Ed Harris, and Ron Howard in the director's chair, it is a classic Hollywood drama. So whether it'll be your first viewing or a repeat, why not take a trip into outer space with Tom Hanks and co. while the film is still available? How long does it take to power up the limb? Three hours by the checklist. We don't have that much time. Number 4. Seth Rogen's Hilarity for Charity, incoming April 6, 2018. Hi, I'm Seth Rogen. I'm bringing my comedy variety show, Hilarity for Charity, to Netflix. This actor, comedian, director, and producer might have made a name for himself with his unique brand of humor, but he also knows to use comedy to overcome serious issues. Champions in the fight against Alzheimer's disease, Rogan and his spouse Lauren Miller founded Hilarity for Charity in 2012, which focuses on raising awareness and, quote, accelerating progress in Alzheimer's care, research, and support. In March of 2018, Rogan filmed this star-studded comedy special, which boasts the likes of John Mulaney, Sasha Baron Cohen, and James Corden to raise funds for this worthy cause. Thanks to a distribution deal with Netflix, we all get to be involved in Seth Rogen's hilarity for charity. This would be working much better if the other people were here. Number 3. Happy Tree Friends, leaving April 15th, 2018. Whoa! <laughs> Do you like your cartoon characters cute and cuddly or violent and bloodthirsty? With Happy Tree Friends, there's no need to pick because you get a healthy dose of both. A Flash cartoon web series that launched in the late 90s, Happy Tree Friends quickly developed a dedicated following with its odd juxtaposition of adorable, colorful woodland creatures and over-the-top, hyper-graphic cartoon violence. 
though the series continues to find new fans to this day. Those who've enjoyed having a season worth of those little terrors available on Netflix will soon have to look elsewhere to get their fix. For those of you who've never seen it, you've got until April 15th. Yar. Number 3. Scarface – Incoming April 1st, 2018 Antonio Montana. And you? What you call yourself? Say hello to Netflix's little friend. That's right, as of April 1st, you can get acquainted or reacquainted with Al Pacino's infamous Tony Montana. Hard as it is to believe in hindsight, this Brian De Palma film was actually met with negative reviews when it was released in 1983. In perhaps one of the biggest disconnects between critics and cinema-goers, Scarface overcame the professional naysayers to become a cultural icon, a film and figure that is frequently referenced, cited, quoted, and imitated. Nowadays, it's considered one of the greatest and most influential gangster movies ever put to film. Suffice it to say, this is a welcome addition to the Netflix catalog. He loved the American dream. With a vengeance. Number 2. Batman. Leaving April 1st, 2018. And what do you do for a living? <laughs> It's too bad. With a drug lord like Mr. Montana moving in, Netflix could have used a hero. They'll have to look elsewhere for protection as of April 1st, however, because the caped crusader is flying the coop. Subscribers are unlikely to shed any tears over the departure of Batman and Robin or Batman Forever, but we would have preferred to hold on to the two Michael Keaton-led films. For many fans, the importance and influence of Tim Burton's Bat flicks cannot be overstated. From Jack Nicholson's inspired take on the Joker to Michelle Pfeiffer's unforgettable Catwoman, these films have made their own significant contributions to Bat lore. Above Gotham looms its greatest hero. Number 2. Chef's Table Pastry. Incoming April 13th, 2018. You're going for a cookie, being like, I know maybe this cookie isn't going to round out my diet. Though we greet this Netflix original spin-off series with open arms and hungry eyes, fair warning, this show is not for anyone who's watching their figure, unless you're also blessed with incredible self-control. In the core series, we met one truly incredible game-changing chef after another. In this standalone spin-off, we get up close and personal with some of the greatest living pastry chefs, and you better believe that their creations are going to make your mouth water and your tummy grumble. Of course, in keeping with the chef's table approach, this is more than food porn. You'll also learn a lot about the pastries and the people who make them. I'm gonna have a deep fried Snickers bar, deep fried Twinkies, no judgment. <laughs> Wait. Number one, The Shawshank Redemption, leaving April 1st, 2018. By the power vested in me by the state of Maine, I hereby order you to serve two life sentences back to back, one for each of your victims. So it's not every day that one of the greatest films ever made leaves Netflix, but sadly, one of these tragic occasions has arrived. For Netflix subscribers, it's time to say goodbye to Andy and Red, and some of the more unsavory staff members of Shawshank Penitentiary. And what better way to send them off after their stint on the streaming service than with one last quality viewing? Directed by the talented Frank Darabont and adapted from Stephen King's novella Rita Hayworth and Shawshank Redemption, this film is a masterpiece of storytelling. No matter how many times you've seen it, with its challenging subject matter and outstanding performances, the movie never fails to move you. Get busy living or get busy dying. That's damn right. Number 1. Lost in Space Incoming April 13th, 2018. Reboots tend to be real hit or miss, and if we're being honest, the hits are pretty rare. In its own time, Lost in Space was a moderate success, both with critics and home viewers. Nonetheless, it left a lasting impression on viewers and sci-fi fans alike. The late 90s remake was fairly mediocre and a forgettable film, but this time around, it looks as if the showrunners have really managed to strike a balance between modern sci-fi sensibilities and nostalgic reverence for the source material. Only time will tell if this show takes flight, but based on the trailer, it certainly looks like a promising update of Irwin Allen's influential series. Go get our kids and get them off this planet.
Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.